Welcome to Bloody Flicks, I'm your host Pete. I'm Kyle, and we talk about all things bloody. And today we're going to review the movie... Evil Dead Rise. Ooh, rise. Alright, Evil Dead Rise, a franchise that you love. I wouldn't say love, but... Really, I'm, really like? I'm a casual Evil Dead fan. Okay, yeah, I thought you were a little more than that, but I mean, I, I'm one of the oddball ones that are kind of like Evil Dead movies, I'm like this, and eh, they're okay. And then I get shunned for it because I'm like, they're, to me, they're not the greatest movies ever. Um i seen this one way after. Yeah, I was supposed to go to the theater with this, and I just said, uh, fuck it, it's a weekday. Well, it was Thursday, right? Yeah, it was Thursday. And I'm like, nope, remember. I'm not going, and I'm going to work the next day. So you saw Evil Dead Rise. Take us through Evil Dead Rise. So I'll tell you right now, if you think Bruce Campbell's going to show up in Ash, you're mistaken. This is a, a, the second Evil Dead movie that does not have Ash in it. But even though he is technically at the very end of the Evil Dead 2013 movie, he's not in this movie except for his voice. You hear him for about five seconds, his voice. So Evil Dead Rise is about two estranged sisters. Um, one is um, a mother of three children and she lives in this rundown, crappy high rise. And the other sister is um, a band tech. Um, she keeps getting called a groupie, which we know that's not. What Maybe she's... that's how she got pregnant by having groupies. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the older sister that has the kids, they're about to get evicted from their hotel, their home, their apartment home, and the other sister comes to visit and while because she's pregnant yes she's pregnant you find that out right off the bat she's pregnant and um the kids stumble across the book of the dead and awaken the deadites and so all the all hell breaks loose yes all hell breaks <laughs> loose because with the typical movies they they're uh, they, uh, the demonites or whatever. Deadites, the deadites, demons, yeah, demons. they're demons. Um, they possess uh, the a demon technically possesses the weakest person, weakest minded, or some shit like that. And of course, same thing happens in this one, and a hell breaks loose. Um, the previews to me look good. Uh, the previews did look good. Where I went, oh, I want to go. I would watch that, even though I'm not really a huge fan of the originals. Um, I'm like you on the originals. I think like okay, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You, the screaming drives you nuts, right? You're like, I wish the fucking woman would die because I can't stand her screaming. Evil Dead is that for me. All the screaming in the first one and stuff is just after a while I'm like, shut the fuck up. I, I just, and I didn't grow up watching those movies versus the other genres and, you know, uh, franchises. So I'm watching them later. They're dated. Um, so maybe that's why I don't love them as much as people we have co-workers and friends that that's the number one franchise is evil dead so um a side note if you ever cue from practical jokers his punishment was to reenact the cabin scene from evil dead um go to youtube and check it out um at, uh not ash <laughs> bruce campbell is there and threatens not to sign a uh, waiver and they make you do all the things and it's hilarious so go to youtube watch that as a side note but as far as um evil dead rise I did want to watch it. I'm not big on possession movies. No, you aren't really either. The Conjuring, and Annabelle, and I mean, ugh, you're yeah, not really big on those movies. Yeah. Are you? Did you watch this because it was evil called Evil Dead? It's a it's a it's a continuation of that. Yeah, for the most part. No, if it wasn't Evil Dead, and it was the same cover, same people, would you watched it? Would you went to the theater rush to see it? If it was called something else, yeah. Probably. Same I probably anything. wouldn't. I probably wouldn't go watch it. So the Evil Dead name actually brought you me. It looked cool. Um, I'm not, like, like I said, I'm not a big 
possession type. They're to me, those movies freak me out sometimes. Because you know that it's one thing. Jason's not real, well, but yet spirits could be kind of. Well, <laughs> it's it, it's getting to the point where every possession movie is the same story. It's like, you, well, I mean, yeah, you possess someone. I know, you but they, them. it's the same. You know, they look all they all look the same. They're filmed the same. The, the music's the same. There's like no one can come up with any new ideas for a possession movie. So. Yeah, uh, possession movies are like not my favorite. Well, they all had that run too. Yeah, uh, what the, the to, 2000, 2010, we had a run of uh, you know even, uh, if we had a good ten fifteen year run of, I mean all the Conjuring's, the Annabelle's, it's like anything else. Oh, werewolves this decade, vampires this decade. It's okay, we're gonna we've been on zombies for how long now? How long we've we been on zombies? Fifteen years? I don't know. It's been how many seasons of Walking Dead are there? 11. Okay, so for at least 11 years, between zombie movies, Walking Dead, and all the continuations, so zombies, um, so every so many years there's just a barrage of, and the same thing with the Possession movies, there was a barrage of just all those movies, so just non-stop, just, that's the new thing, we gotta make it, the same as all, any other movie back in the day. Um, so yeah, Evil Dead, make you watch it, the character, I don't know, I was like, okay, had not been thir a Thursday, I would have watched it with you. Um, did it feel like an Evil Dead movie to you? Yes. It did? Mm-hmm. You know, take away the book, would it feel like an Evil Dead movie? Take away how they, they open the book, play the record? Yeah, it feels just... It, this feels like it could be a sequel to not the originals with Bruce Campbell... <laughs> But it could be a sequel to the 2013 Evil Dead, and okay. some people consider that a remake. I, me, I don't think it's a remake. I think it's like rebranding the no, franchise. No, because in Army of Darkness, it's explained that there is more than one Necronomicon. That there's like three. So, like this could be a different book than the one Ash had. Like a more evil book yeah, or yeah. less evil book. Yeah, or... so, but yeah, this feels kind of like 2013, and I really enjoyed 2013, so fair. that's why, you know, I had to check this one out. No, that's fair. Um, And the, the cover's badass. You got the possessed main girl like, smiling at you like a creep. Um, what, and, uh, what, are the, what are your highlights of this, of this Evil Dead uh, Rise? Obviously, the mom, the actress that plays the mom, the one that gets possessed, she's really good possessed. Just like, just her grin, her grin alone, like when she's smiling, is like creepy as shit. Especially like, Mommy's yeah, home. yeah, like <laughs> especially like some of the scenes when the daughter's looking through the peephole in the door, and she's just kind of sitting there, and she's got a big old grin, and if she's probably the best part of this movie. Um, and then, of course, you know, it's gory and bloody as all hell. Which is a typical with some new twist, movie. yeah. Typical Evil Dead movie. Um, so the you know every horror movie has people that make stupid decisions like well, that's the like, type of horror yeah, movie. Yeah, like the children in this, they make really dumb decisions. Like, why did you do that? Like, like why did you open the fucking door? Yeah, why did you open the door? You know and. <laughs> Why are you going down in the? Okay, you just had an earthquake and a pothole, big old pothole opens up, and let's just dive right on in, see what's down there. Like, yeah, that, that okay. Yeah, that that's. But you got to have that, so you know, so they'll find the book. But um, that's you know, good stuff. My bad. So there's only one thing, and we'll get to it after you your your likes or whatever. Okay, uh, the good stuff is the the graphics. Um, and I told you at first, it felt like another possession movie. Like if you take the Evil Dead name away, to me, it'd be another possession movie, a better one. But it'd be just like another possession movie done in a newer, a little bit better way, um, a, a more refreshed way. Um, but like I said, I don't really, as far as a franchise, um, it's not my favorite franchise. So I actually have not watched the 2013 one. So yes, sorry I have not watched that one, so I wouldn't know this was continuance. Just not was not interested. Um, they did a very good job. Um, it was entertaining. There's some different kills. We all know about the. If you ha haven't seen it yet, turn it off now because I'm going to spoil it for you. The cheese grater scene um, was cool. 
Um, yeah, the people just do some stupid shit in there, but uh, um, there's a lot of good to it. But there are some things that they am going. What the hell? Do you want to hear about what the hell? <laughs> or do you want to go first? Here, go ahead. Okay. How they find the book, I thought was kind of dumb. Okay, there's a giant fucking earthquake, shakes the whole building, takes out pretty much the, almost the elevator. Because you're not supposed to go up the elevator after earthquake, you're supposed to take the stairs, is what she said, mommy says. Um, opens up a crack so goddamn big, but yet the kid's like, oh, I'm going to go down this crack. And uh, I, I kind of want to say the book was calling to him. because So he goes down this giant crack, way down below, there's a vault, finds the book. And of course, the curious kid wants to see this book and take it home with them. Um, that I think they could have found the book a different way. I think they could have made it where they didn't this giant earthquake. Because giant earthquake just was kind of weird, random. You know, it's like the book woke up and decided to have this earthquake. I don't know why was it buried in the vault? Why was it there? I, I, and so that part kind of wasn't bad, but wasn't great either. Um, and the only other part was when their the, her possession was so strong. Like, when she's in the hallway and you see her kill all the neighbors run by to the people, which is a very good scene. Through the people, you see people get murdered and killed and the neighbors and stuff. And um, if her possession was that strong, she'd be able to um, possess through the door. Like, the door stopped her. Like, they shut the mom out. She's on the door. You know, it's mommy. And then the girl lets her in. And then she continues killing. It's like the door stopped her for a minute until the, she was let back in. I'm like, wouldn't they play mind games and be like, okay, and trick the kid to open the door? It was just like, you're super strong, indestructible demon, demon that can mind fuck people, and then now all of a sudden there's a door there, and you're like, huh, there's a door there. I can't do nothing. But that's the only gripe I really had. The ending could have been... And then it was fine. They could have added. Um, I think they could have tied the book and the ending a little more together to her, remind you why the whole thing started a little better. But I mean, really, the two things was the door thing and then the, how they found the book, really. But the ending ties into the beginning of the movie when it shows the other kids. Well, yeah, but I mean, it just it was like. It's like, oh, here's the book. We kind of forgot about it now. Well, the one, the sister goes back and tries to go through the book and puts the earphones on so she can figure it out, um, try to find a solution to solve, you know, what the fuck's going on. And then that's when the young girl lets her mommy back inside. And then, again, why did she open the door? The kid's not like two. The kid's like, obviously a smart kid. So why would they open the door? It wasn't like she was, you know what I'm saying? Like if I possess you and get in your head to open the door, but the girl just did it. If you're that demonic and that strong of a demon, you could possess through a door. That's so that's my only gripe. It's a stupid gripe if you've seen it, but I mean, it's just if I had to nitpick anything, that would be it, I guess. It was still good. I mean, I still enjoyed it. My only gripe, and I've watched this three times now, once in the theater, and I've watched it twice now since I, you know, bought it. Um. And every time I watch this, this one part, it it is it gets worse for me every time. And that is, if once again, spoiler alert, um, when the mom and the son and daughter kind of merge into this big old fucking blob looking thing. Oh, that thing, yeah. It looks horrible. Like every time, I, it gets worse every time I watch. So it. like you're homed in on it now. Yeah, and it's like, what? Because in the in the Necronomicon, they kind of show like a drawing of this creature, and the drawing looks badass. Like, oh, that looked cool. And then when they finally show it, it just looks like shit. Like, <laughs> I, well, I, I don't think it's supposed to look like what's in the book. The book no, is a but, creature of a different. I know, but they could have made it look a lot better. It just it looked like shit. Like, now and, when I watch it again, I'm be stuck. And in every there now. time, and every time <laughs> I've watched. The first time I watched it, I was like, well, you know, it's okay. It's not the greatest. But then the last two times I've watched this movie and I see it, it just it gets worse and worse. I'm like, that's my only gripe on this movie is that creature effect. Like, they could have put a little more effort into it. Like, I don't know. It seemed really complicated to me. But now I'll be stuck. When, now that you mentioned it, when I watch it again, I'll be stuck on it. Yeah, like, it was... But it was, it was minor. It's like a minor detail to where, like, there's not much to there's not much to complain about this movie at all. So I mean, 
No, but like I said, that you, would stick out. You, this is supposed to be the main like creature in this movie, yeah. and that's what you put on the screen. That's it's like you, it's like you glued two, three dolls together, and that's what you <laughs> got. Okay. Like, you did know, you like the way? Did you think the 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 demon was killed too easily? At the end, with the shredder and the gun. I mean, I like the fact that she said, you know, come get some. So she re reenacted some of the Army Darkness type, you know, some of the older f phrases. Not that they didn't overdo it, but they did, you know, she just said, come get some with the shotgun. No, I was um, fine with how they killed her because, you know, you know, he, you know, she kicked her into the wood chipper, you know, and then used the chainsaw to finish it off. So, yeah, I didn't, that was fine because, you know, they do that in like every Evil Dead movie. They got to kill him with the chainsaw. That's just kind of like, it's, you know, but the spirit never dies, of course, because it's a demon, yeah. so you can't kill a demon with the chainsaw. But, yeah. So, um, but yeah, that that was fine. Like I said, it was just the creature design at the end. You know, it's not like it's oh, fucking horrible, but it's like <laughs> you're just this for something. It's yeah. just like you could have put a little more thought into it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to rewatch that again because I really didn't pay attention. Like, I mean, I didn't really look at the thing that much. I was too busy well, going. Well, you know, like, like yeah. how are they gonna kill this thing? Are they gonna kill him in a stupid way? Because it's a demonic, it's a demonic presence that, I mean, a wood chipper and a chainsaw really is not gonna kill a demon. Um, I was expecting like like the girl to get possessed after that because you know, and then all of a sudden then they re flip the book backwards and re chance some shit, and then the demon get goes away for a while to the next movie um but it, it worked i mean i was fine with the ending i mean but uh it was a good movie i mean it's not much to complain about this movie no like i said that, that's yeah. my only little main gripe is just that that creature design you know it it doesn't take nothing away from the movie it's just i when i had seen it the first time i was just like okay and then Every time I watch it now, it just, it's, I, I think I like, after, the more I watch it, I like analyze it more. Like, cause that's my kind of thing. I, I, you know, I like effects and that, and that's the things I'm looking at. And it just, it's um, like, why did you make that choice? Is like, that why, is that why I'm always, that's why I'm more homed in on how they shoot the movie? Because that's my thing. And yeah, yours is the horror. That's probably why. Like, like when you tell, when I talk about how they directed it and how they shot it. That's my. That's because that's what I do, and then the, the, so I get it. Yeah, because I do. I notice I home in that a lot more um, than other stuff. But yeah, I thought the shots were really good. I mean, the people thing was really quite different and cool. Um, when you look at the people on the mind, you see the mom just like take off, and and then the neighbor with the shotgun comes out, and you see him get fucked up, and then you know it's like all chaos going on there. So okay, so <coughs> I do have a favorite kill in this movie. Um, and it's when she jumps on that dude like a spider monkey and bites his eye out. And <laughs> yeah, then she spits good. it out and it lands in the other guy's mouth and it chokes him. And he, he like chokes on it. That That's like my favorite kill. Which like, a demonic uh, uh, demon would, would do shit like that, I think, you know. So, yeah, that's probably the... It was funny, cool, and you could, see, you could, you could buy that. Like, you, you go, I, I could buy that. It wasn't like... If that wasn't another horror movie... Like where Jason slap bitch slap somebody in their eye came out and went down someone else's throat, you'd be like, okay, that was stupid. Yeah. This movie, it worked. So yeah, yeah that would say that um, the cheese grater scene was was really good. The only thing with the cheese grater is when well, that's because she zoomed in and well, slowed no, down. When, and, when she pulls like scratches her leg, I wish they would have showed it fuck her leg up a little more. It almost oh, looked that'd like that'd be hard to do. It looked like they just took like like someone just scratched the shit out of someone's leg with their hand. Like it didn't look like. Well, if someone gives us um, uh, a budget of a few hundred thousand dollars, we'll we'll test that theory. Until then, it looked pretty damn good to me because we'll never have that budget. So, um, but yeah, I mean, because you made a cheese grater. The next day, I stopped by his house, dropped some. I was like, hey, look, I made the cheese grater. Look, it's got skin in it. So you put all the skin and the blood and stuff, and made it look like the the actual prop for the movie. And I'm like, yeah. so I'm surprised that wasn't your favorite kill. Well, it wasn't a kill. It is maimed her. Um, well, and then the chick eating the glass, chewing on the glass, and it's poking out of her That was throat. creepy. I was like this going, well, I'm not a needle person, and then that, that did freak me out a little bit. So it's weird because this is like a possession demonic movie that you could watch without getting scared like a demon's going to get you. Mm -hmm. Like some of the de demonic movies you watch, um, 
you're like, oh my God, like the, the, you're watching, you're like, is there a demon in my house now? You're kind of freaked out for the night, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, and that type of thing. This one is a demonic movie where you're like, it was action based and you didn't, you were scared because of what was going on. Not be scared. There might be a demon in your house now. So I kind of like that because demonic movies, I don't want to, are the one movies that kind of would, would get me if any movie did. So, um, Evil Dead Rise, it came out this year. Um, what would you rank? Okay, here's another question. Now, the chick, uh, who played the main mommy girl? I think her name is um, Alyssa Sutherland. Yeah, it is. Um, you think she's cute, obviously. Yeah, she's not bad looking. Uh, would you still would you still hit it, even if she was a, a demon, demonic? Would you, was she still cute enough to hit? Because I know you warped motherfuckers out there in the horror world watching us have watched movies... Um, Return of Living Dead Part 3, and he would still hit that shit. Would you hit that, demonic and all? It's like she almost got sexier in a way. I've heard this before. I don't That's why I'm asking. The, 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 grin, the grin, if she was doing that the whole time. I'd be afraid she'd bite something off. Or just the grin alone, put, putting it to her and grinning like that. I, I don't know. That. I think it'd probably creep me out. Because right? the reason why I say this is because how many times have we heard people say this about characters that they actually get like, it actually makes them hotter in a way, and I'm going, She's got shit sticking out of her. How is she hotter? And you wear conventions on uh, all the time. That's why I figured I'd ask because, like, okay, would you? I don't know, man. I just see the mouth and I go like this. Come, man. I'm not losing that part of me. I don't know if I'm gonna chance it or not. But you know, it depends if you're a little lonely, haven't had in a while, you know, and you're like, you know what? I'll roll the dice in this one, open the door, and you get killed. So. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like there's some freak out there going, I'll do it. <laughs> and she's killing you, you know, or mutilating you or whatever. But uh yeah, the cast was really good. Um I did like the cast. I think they did a good job picking all the cast and the, the sister and um I did like the part where the sister uh gets knocked down and then the the demon sister is sniffing her belly. She's sniffing her and smells the <laughs> she smells the, the baby and uh Oh, who saved her? The kid. The the, the little girl saved her. Um, but uh, that was kind of cool because I'm like, yeah, because they're, you know. And I thought the, the little. The, yeah, that the, the little, stunk. I, I don't thought know. the little girl did a pretty good job, too, because a lot of times yeah. children actors, you know, she was really good. And I was like, towards the end, I was like, please don't kill the little girl. I, no. That's my biggest thing in horror movies. Please don't kill little kids. Little kids and dogs. <laughs> yes, that's your thing. Yeah, um, kids and dogs. Please don't. I had to beg to differ on that one. I, a lot of the movies coming out have a lot of children in them, and they're damn good actors. Um, like I said, I would not go to a con and get a picture with them because they're underage, and I'd be weirded out by that. Um, like all the weird people out there that want these autographs, I'm not that crazy. But uh, the kids in these movies have done really good. I mean, well, Black Phone like was awesome. Um, this movie, they did good. They did good in, uh, what's the fucking robot one? I just Megan. watched. Megan. Um, they did good. Um... Like if you if you just got their autograph like on a movie poster, I would do that. But like a picture, I want to get that, a photo Like them. a picture of them in the movie, I don't know if or I wouldn't do that. Like or, it was a cover photo, yeah, or like of the movie, I yeah. would do that. But I wouldn't want a picture of a little kid. Yeah, there's some. I'm really curious the next convention. I'm like weird because the one from the doll from Megan was dancing. All these people are like clawing. I'm just like, okay, it's kind of weird. But uh, I don't know. It's just me. But yeah, as far as kids acting, they do it. Every movie so far, every kid's been phenomenal. Stranger Things, young young kids, they're they're phenomenal actors. So um, yeah, I'm I wasn't surprised that the kid was a good actor. I mean, I don't think that happened in the movie. If she's a crappy actor, but uh, I wish I could act that good. But uh, yeah, I mean, the sister, really badass. Um, what would you rank Evil Dead Rise? I would give it four blood drops out of five. I would also give it four blood drops out of five. I said three originally, I know. But the more I thought about it, to me, it's more just another possession movie. Um, but it's really well done. I do like how she rose out of the lake. Um, they did new stuff in it. So four out of five blood drops for Evil Dead Rise for me. Um, I'm sure they're, they did well, so they're going to continue making them. Um, I just hope they didn't... Oh, we'll be back at the cabin for the next one. I don't know, but... Uh, it was a new refreshing take. It wasn't a random house in the middle of nowhere in the basement like all the other movies. I would like to, if they do another one, I would like to see it at a hospital. How about a nursing home? Mm, be different. Be creepy. 
There you go. You want to take the rights on that one? <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen Evil Dead Rise, watch it. It was well worth it. Um, I know a few old friends have not seen it yet, and they're actually big Evil Dead fans, and still haven't seen it yet. I was at work I, and I, talked I, to somebody who did that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's because it doesn't have Ash in it, so it's not an Evil Dead movie. You gotta move on sometime. Yeah, I just wish I would have the. I think the book wasn't evolved enough. I think the book was there. They open it, and eh, I think the book would have been should have been more used more throughout the movie than it was. It's kind of like okay, oh, the spirit's released. Now I gotta find a way to uh, uh, close. Let put some let put some headphones on so I can't hear what's going on. You know, and oh, just, what's going on? I don't know what happened. Hey, what are you doing out there? I let mommy back in. Oh, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> just you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was my re impression of <laughs> one of the C's at all. Um, but yeah, so good movie. And until next time, as always, with Evil Dead Rise, don't summon demons and stay bloody. All right.